Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Lalo na yung mga nandiyang kasama natin sa live streaming in other parts of the world. So it is our joy, we, the Missionary Sisters, Servants of the Holy Spirit, to welcome you all. Uh, you have the script, but allow me to digress a bit. I want to greet all of you, as St. Paul says, with a holy kiss. So please turn to one another, greet one another with a holy kiss. Not, not the kiss na, kiss na mwa, no? <laughs> okay. Alam nyo, what the kiss signifies, I got it this morning from Google, the kiss is mentioned 50 times in the Bible. And the kiss means, I quote, kiss signifies death, death of the past. Kamatayan ng nakaraan. Huh? Renewal of self. Pagbabagong buhay. At pangatlo, rebirth into the higher world rebirth into the higher world. And I think that's what uh, we are praying for today, for this grace, death to the past, a renewal of self, and a rebirth into the higher world. So again, I greet you all with a holy kiss. So, stick na ako sa script. This chapel has been the source of strength through all the years, not only for us, community of SSPS, but for students, alumni, and personnel. So it is but fitting that we hold our final ritual in this chapel and be assured, be reassured that the Spirit will remain with us even as we pray our goodbye. Yes, Goodbyes are very much a part of life as the seasons of the year. The story of gain and loss, of joy and sorrow, of life and death, of union and separation, of beginning and ending is inside each of us. The cycle begins at birth, when we were broken loose from our mother's womb. A forward movement gathered momentum until we pushed farewell and with a throbbing burst of new life cried hello again to a vastly different world thoughts taken from joy stroke the cycle continues throughout our lives who of us has not said farewell to someone and felt a great heartache and a deep sadness wanting to stop the process and wondering when the ache inside would ever leave. And I just had a severe ache this morning as I awoke. Anyway, I invite us to relieve a painful goodbye and the emerging new in God's time and plan. This is the purpose of our gathering today, coming to CHSF at different times in our lives, as students, as mission partners, as SSPS community in mission, we share a common experience and a common dream, a common legacy. 109 years are so significant that we cannot just leave without getting hold of what these years have made of us and meant for us. Goodbye and gratitude go together. And we do so, as we do so, we are grateful to our founding generation, St. Arnold Johnson, Blessed Maria Helena in stolen work, and Blessed Josepha Stenmans, and countless significant others who came after them. Indeed, generation after generation of SSPS sisters and graduates have made an impact on people's lives and on the world at large. They are persons of mission, attuned to the spirit, knowing when to start and when to withdraw, flowing with the rhythm of time through different seasons, ever committed to the why of mission. Together with them all, Sisters and alumni who gave a part of their lives to CHSM at different stages, we now sing our praise to the Triune God. 
We all stand. We sit to listen to the Word of God, the Word of God from the book of Ecclesiastes. Everything that happens in this world happens at the time God chooses. He sets the time for birth and the time for death, the time for planting and the time for pulling up the time for killing, and the time for healing, the time for tearing down, and the time for building. He sets the time for sorrow, and the time for joy, the time for mourning, and the time for dancing. He sets the time for finding, and the time for losing, the time for saving, and the time for throwing away, the time for tearing, and the time for mending, the time for silence, and the time for talking. The word of the Lord. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. We respond, Lord, send out your spirit. And we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Response. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. Surely you have granted him unending blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Lord, 
And from the letter to the Ephesians, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Three questions on the sheet. First, ano ang pakiramdam ko sa mga sandaling ito? So, feeling, one or two. Significant feeling. And second question, salamat si HSM dahil. What am I grateful for? And the third question, the spirit lives on. Wish ko lang, wish ko ngayon, ano yun? So, just scribble some of your feelings and insights on this uh, sheet of paper and keep them. We will use them when we get to the Maria Hall afterwards. That's why we ask you to bring a uh, ball pen, sign pen, whatever. If you don't have, just raise your hand and Hazel will go near you. So we give you uh, a few minutes for jotting down. And then you turn to your seatmate by twos lang, no? By twos. Just share briefly what you want to comfortably share with your seatmate. All of the three questions or any of the three questions. Everybody is requested to write something because everybody will be asked to do something about it later. So, you can now turn to your seatmate. Just a brief sharing. Anyway, kung hindi matapos, may time pa tayong ituloy mamaya sa Maria Hall. Okay, let us just put together our sharing in one breath of silence. And we pray for one another here, all our other classmates, fellow alumni, who are connected with us online, all our loved ones, living and dead, all the significant others in our lives and the needs of the world today. Our need as a people in the forthcoming election, the yearning for peace of our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine and Russia and in other parts of the world beset by turmoil and uncertainty for them all, we pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Together we pray the concluding prayer. Loving God, praise and thank you for having gathered us together today. We move on, strong in faith, that your spirit will never abandon us, and that our future is nothing and no one else but you. Keep us in step with your Son, who is our way, our truth, and our life. Amen. We proceed to the second part of our prayer service, and this will be a procession, a journey back in time. So it's patterned to the way of the cross, uh, you will notice. And we want to retrace our steps 
relieve precious moments. If you notice, the content of this uh, journey back in time is more in the context of, of students, not in the context of sisters. Huh? So sisters, uh, because the sisters have been journeying back in time since we started the process of long discernment. But I'll give them to you some time during the prayer service, some of them at least. So the procession signifies our continuing journey together in bold letters, no? together in the spirit of Veritas in Caritate. We have symbols representing the elements and our communion with creation. Fire, the Paschal candle that symbolizes the victory of new life over death. In addition, each of you carries a lighted candle. No? You will light that as we process from the chapel down. Then the holy water, water that cleanses and purifies the bell to reverberate the breeze that we breathe. Incense, the scent of our prayer being offered to our God in gratitude. There are assigned persons to carry these elements in procession and they will be the, lead, the leaders. No? The bearers are the leaders where we will go. And the greatest of all symbols is the symbol of our faith of life death, and new life, the cross. So the order of the procession is like this. Uh, we have first the banner carried by Larry, then the cross, Robert Silianteng, the big candle, Vicky del Rosario, Holy Water, Sister Sales, incense, Sister Florencia Tubanya, assisted by uh, Rosette, the bells, and Dimhenko. And the choir will be part of the lead group the choir composed of Sister Tessa Artita, Maricel, Oro, and I don't know if the young will be joining us. In between the stops, there are 10 stops. There will be singing and praying. And I request us to please keep an atmosphere of silent thanksgiving and recall for all that has been throughout these 109 years. We ask the Spirit to enable us to welcome the new that comes after our grieving and surrender. While it takes thousands and thousands of voices to tell a story, we acknowledge that this procession cannot capture all that we have experienced during our stay at CHSM. So now, uh, we will go out of the chapel led by the bearers and uh, the chesok with speaking parts we move out through the middle aisle. And then we go, we turn left to the staircase. Huh? Go down to, through the left staircase here and stop at the crucifix near the dining room. Because the crucifix, we notice, we, a community of sisters, has been very significant for anybody who comes here. They would always stop and pray before the image of the crucifix. So we thought it's really a very significant part of our journey back in time and into the future. So please, uh, the choir will be accompanying us with a song now, while the lead, please fall in line so that all the rest of us will follow. Thank you. You may, you may now turn on the lights of your candles. May I invite you to join us in singing May the Holy Triune God. May the Holy Triune God live in our hearts. May the Holy Triune God live in our hearts. May the Holy Triune God live in our hearts and in the heart.
where we are now is the St. Arnold Johnson AJ Foyer. This is the main entrance to the country. Here we are welcomed with peace. The quiet, the cool breeze gives us a big contrast to the busy street outside the gate. As many of us say, and as first-time guests remark, here is an oasis of tranquility amidst the urban jungle of Manila. Here is one of the outstanding marks of Chetan. Peace. We pause and recall an outstanding memory here. We bless this place with gratitude and remember the thousands who have passed through this way. And quoting Etienne de Grelais, a Quaker missionary, we pray, I may never pass this way again. Any good that I can do or any kindness I can show to any human being, let me do it now. Let me not be nor neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. This is a vantage point from different windows. Library veranda. St. Arnold Building, home to science department, fine arts and the nutrition, and home economics at the extension. There were the admin offices at the ground floor and the prayer room. And, of course, the prominent feature is this legendary Nara tree, under which we used to have our Monday flag ceremony and that iconic library building where we spent so many hours talking to the world's best minds in the books they wrote. We pause and listen to our heartbeats. We bless this place with gratitude and remember those significant others who have shared this space with us. We hum the tune in our hearts, Bayang Magilim. Alma Mater. for college barcadas. This spot became the meeting place, particularly for college departments, before and in between classes, a place to do homework and not miss what's going on with the rest of the school. It was right under the library and was the main thoroughfare for students and teachers coming and going. It was the coolest place to be in terms of the day's temperature as well as one standing on campus. Oh, how the manangs and manongs would keep the floor sanitized by flooding the area with soap and water every Saturday afternoon. 
the social hall, now Queen Adenet Hall, has been the venue for many fundraising activities that alumni sponsored in recent years. We pause and recall secrets shared. Our barcada who challenged us and drew out the best in us. We remember the particular table we have appropriated for ourselves. We remember the beneficiaries of the funds raised and pray that they multiply the same spirit of generosity. We bless this place with gratitude and remember those significant others who have shared this space with us. Auditorium area. The auditorium, the venue for big events, holy masses, graduation ceremonies, symposia, recitals, etc. And as alumni, the Audi was the center of our homecomings and great productions were shared to appreciative audiences. The auditorium, how it holds our memories of discovering our talents, encouraged by our dedicated teachers. Today we ask and wonder, what shows enthralled us? What celebrations touch us and continue to energize us? What faces and voices remain distinct within us? Ah, we cannot help but ask also, where shall we hold our future homecomings? We allow the gentle breeze under these mango trees to refresh us. We listen to new inspirations that can uplift us. We recall the music, great shows presented, the laughter, the lessons learned. And we look at ourselves, at what we have become now because of this out-of-classroom lessons. Uh, maybe we can recall how many mangoes have we picked from throwing our shoes. Laudato Si. From kindergarten to college, our Blessed Mother has been a constant figure in our lives. Childlike faith, nurtured in prayer and Bible stories. Life experiences shared with our Mama Mary, even as we grew and built our own family, our mother has drawn us closer to her son. And lately, the site has been blessed by the unique feature in campus as well as in the city of Manila, the Garden of Endemic Trees, a tribute to creation, to Mother Earth. Thanks to the communal efforts of different batches and environment advocates. We pause and pray for all our departed teachers, classmates, parents.
we also pray that the care for creation and Mother Earth be a strong value and advocacy for all of us. We likewise ask our Mother to guide our election processes. To Mary, the Immaculate Spouse of the Holy Spirit, we pray, then Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The, the lead group will go to Dalal Datusi and bless the place. And as we wait for them, we continue to pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. as the elementary building, later as liberal arts building, then lately as basic education. As we go back in time, I feel as if I'm na ulila. I have been nurtured by CHSM through my pre-adult years. Yes, it may just be a building complex, but its soul made what I am now, ang aking pagkatao at paniniwala. The CHSM principle of truth in love has seeped into my veins. Ganun pala yon. We take time to count outstanding grade school memories. Teachers, classmates, friends, foundational lessons from which we continue to draw strength and hope and courage.
somehow we enjoyed playing jackstones and Chinese garter, pico and patintero on the grounds. We held field demonstrations here and cheering competitions. We perspired with the CAT drills very early in the morning and awakened the nuns in the cloister. We would exaggerate ghost stories told and retold. Oh yes, we had the sports fest, the college fair where we would proudly parade our dates from San Beda, Las Tano, Ateneo. How blessed are we? How blessed are we now because of the past we had experienced together? For all this, we breathe our thanksgiving. noisy lot, waving out to the manans our chits for our favorite tuna or chicken sandwich and frozen coke. With only 20 minute recess, we had to gulp down our snacks. Ah, the taste of the German bread still lingers in our palate, and many other favorite snacks. What gustatory and olfactory memories become alive again. Let the memories of our favorite food and drink lead us to thank the manans whose names and faces may elude us, but their kindness and service have edified us. Right now, you smell the barbecue? Yes. Choco bean dao. Okay. Root beer. Choc nut. Ten centavos. Ten centavos. You cook ten, ten centavos, you know? Okay. Mother Giuseppe, the high school building. Our high school years, the favorite subjects, the favorite teachers, the naughty acts, the creative but harmless escapades. Where have all these years gone? Did we grow so fast? If only we could hold switch on our time machine and play back those precious years. We look up to this century tree, or is it the higad tree? The mushroom tables bring back memories of bonding with friends over schoolwork and talks of, of crushes. There are too many stories about classmates, schoolmates, teachers, sisters, manangs, vendors, etc. How rich we have become because of friendships forged and sustained and weathered the test of time, defying boundaries of space and seasons. Friendships that keep expanding and challenging. Friends that are not just memories, but continue to be part of our present and of our future. Let us particularly recall those naughty and crazy acts that remain undisclosed to the sisters and teachers till now. 
and the security guards who connived with us. And we join our hearts with our friends, living and dead. All this make us explain how great are you, O oh God. for the high school opened and locked at specific times. We gaze at the building. School life brings out the best in us. We are what we are now because of that common past in our lives. At that moment in time, you will not recognize the meaning of it until you become an adult and exposed to reality. The values embedded in the pedagogy unconsciously comes out in a C.H. Eshan's work and family life. We say our goodbye today, but the spirit lives on in our hearts. Let this pilgrimage linger on. And we lift our hearts to our God in the spirit of truth, in love. bago tayo magpatuloy. Uh, gusto ko lang batiin yung mga nasa screen, na mga nandyan sa USA. Hi. Especially, special mention daw si Diana Gobbio. Hi. Hi. Sino ba? Let's, let's call out names. Yoli Lin. Maria Torres. Okay, Jean Robes. Ilo. Ilo. Hi, Ilo. Okay. At marami pang iba ang mga pangalan at mukha ninyo ay nasa aming mga puso. Pero, bago tayo dumako sa pinaka finale ng ating pagdarasal at pagunita sa sandaling ito, uh, ewan ko lang, sa script namin, dapat may circle tayo dito. Kaya lang, medyo mainit. Okay lang. Sige. Okay. Sige. Uh, anyway, kaaya-aya ang hangin, ano? O, oh, sige. Ah, uh, okay. Walang biditaw, ha? Walang biditaw. Hanggang sa ulit sandali. Hanggang meron kayong matanggap sa mga madre ng CHSM. Ha? Yun ang pinakahuling huling bahagi ng ating pagtitipon. Okay? So, I, I request everybody to stay on, to hold on to the end. Sabi nga ng ABS-CBN, andito tayo para sa isa't isa. Okay? Now, wala ito sa script. Wala, ta wala ito sa script. 
Pero uh, this morning as I awoke, I felt there was something missing in the whole uh, ritual. So <laughs> I thought I invited some who would have to listen intently to what would be going on within our hearts as we plod back into time. So I call on, sabi ko sa kanila, this is like, this is similar to a presidential interview. Say much in 30 seconds. Okay? But, pero wala tayong, uh, wala tayong time watch. No? So, una kong tinatawagan yung valedictoria natin dito sa paglilingkod sa CHSM, si Larry Echipare. Larry. Ah, uh, maraming salamat po, sister. Ah, uh, kanina po nasa labo ako ni sister Eden. Tapos sabi niya magbibigay daw ako ng ano, ng mensahe. Eh hindi po ako nakapaghanda, eh. may handa ako lang yung mga gamit ko pauwi. <laughs> Kagabi naghanda pa uwi. Ah, uh, maybe ah uh, siguro uh, medyo napagod tayo sa pag-iikot. Pero siguro nasaksihan naman po ninyo yung yung pinanggalingan po natin na na college. Uh, I-ano ko lang po yung konting background sa akin. Uh, pumasok po ako dito noong year 1988. Uh, 22 years pa lang. 22 years pa lang po ako noon. 22 years old pa lang po ako noon. Ngayon eh, turning 56 na. <laughs> uh, bale, Uh, papasok ko sa 35 years sa service. Uh, kilala ko na po yung mga mga mukha po ninyong lahat kaso lang po yung mga pangalan medyo hindi ko po <laughs> memorize. Uh, dumalin po ako sa walong uh, administration na president, five sisters, tapos tatlo pong lay. Uh, kung matandaan ko po si, una ko po si sister Rosalinda, then sister Anit pa, Sister Eden, Sister Jenny, Sister Oi, tapos Sister Anchi. Yes. May nakalimutan ko ba ba? Ngayon sa tatlong lay, uh, Dr. Yang, uh, the late Sister, uh, Dr. Marco, tapos nandito po si, nakita ko si Dr. Waina, nandito po siya. Uh, no? Uh, ang aking pong pasasalamat sa Kasi pag kuwento ko po yung journey ko sa Holy Spirit, ang dayo pong resibo, di tayo patapos, 35 years. Ang natutunahan ko po dito ay ang uh, kasimplihan lang po. Simple sa, sa buhay, uh, simple sa lahat ng, uh, yung, sa trabaho, yung, ayun ito, yung, uh, yung tapat sa tungkulin. Kaya po ako siguro inabot ng 35 years. Tapos yung sa journey ko nakapag nakapag-asawa po ako, nagkaroon dalawang anak. Uh, sa, sa tulong po ng Holy Spirit, uh, napatapos ko na po lahat ng college kaya ngayon uh, Thank you po. Ah uh, Nagpapasalamat po ako sa mga sisters. Ah uh, ko po lahat pero yung mga names medyo Mayroon na. Tapos sa mga alumni, uh, sa kay Ma'am Ging, sa pangunan ni Ma'am Ging, yung mga kilal, Ma'am Lorraine. Of course, eh, nandito sa so si Ma'am Imi, malak maraging tulong po sa akin, ng, ano ko sa Lodato, nung nagkaroon ng pandemic, malaking tulong po sa akin na uh, yung kanyang pagpapaisli sa akin dito. So, hindi ko na pa, paan, marami na pong gusto pang sumunod. Maraming salamat po sa lahat. Siguro, sa, ang matatak lang ko sa akin ay St. Arnold, his end is our beginning. Siguro yung, katap, yung pagtapos dito ay mayroon pa mga opportunity na darating. Maraming salamat po. Applause for Larry. Salamat Larry. At ang isa ko rin ginulat kaninang madaling araw ay si Baby Sevilla. talagang manggugula. <laughs> oh, anong gising? Okay. Uh, what a journey it has been. Uh, I remember this entrance. 
where I first entered for the spirit for kindergarten. Yes. 1940, this or 47, okay? And, um, what, 14 years after I finished BS Home Economics in Nutrition, I left for grad school, got a call from Sister Tomasella when I graduated from my master's program. He said, you have to come back to Holy Spirit, you know, and uh, give back what you have learned. So I did. Although I tried to dodge it, I said, Sister, you don't hire married women, right? I plan to marry next year. <laughs> then she said, next year we're going to change the rules. <laughs> so I had no excuse. And uh, I was here for, I, I, I was counting the years as I went around the campus. I figured 14 years of my growing up here. And hold your breath. 41 years of my professional and growing old years. <laughs> yes. So um, I retired in 2007, yes. And uh, how does it feel? It's a mixture of emotion. You know, I, I look back at coming in as a kindergarten student. I remember Sister Maria Rosario was the treasurer. And when I enrolled, something for you to know why my name is Encarnita, because my baptismal name is Maria Encarnacion. I'm named after my mother. And Sister Rosario said, oh, she's too little to be called Encarnacion. <laughs> so we'll call her Encarnita. So all my school records were in Canita, and I had problems when I was getting a passport. So now, Maria Encarnacion became my, uh, my alias instead of my name. Okay. But, you know, what do I remember best about College of the Holy Spirit? I have the best and worst times in campus, like most in life, right? It's the worst times that make us appreciate the best times, right? And what held us on together, what the feeling that we are blessed and chosen to mission, thanks to St. Arnold. Everything is great, and everything that we do is a mission, wherever we are at. You know? And I'm asked, why did you stay in Holy Spirit? You know? Well, maybe I believe in what we were doing and uh, found that um, you know, somehow a little of my talent could be put into good use. And moreover, I remember the words of Miss Eason, who has influenced a lot of us. She said, College of the Holy Spirit was founded for the formation and development of young Filipino women to be professionally competent, morally upright, and committed to service for their fellow human beings. And I think basically that's what we have been doing. Uh, from the time we were students, we called this uh, community service, or we called them catechism classes that we did outside. We had Christmas drives and so on and so forth. But I think the care and love for those who are in need of this, what in whatever level of society they are at, uh, has been a calling to the CHF graduates. I remember particularly Dolly Kimbo, you know, yes, Dolly yes, Perez, yes. yes. Uh, Dean and I were in the board at that time. She was the one who initiated what she called a reach-in program. Because we were doing community work with a reach out. And then she said, you know what, we have alumni who also need help. Not necessarily financial, 
but emotional, spiritual, or whatever professional assistance. And therefore, I credit her, I remember her, may she rest in peace, that this was one of the good projects that we had in the alumni office. So, um, what are the lessons? I think every one of us have the same lesson, that we are cold, we are cold to wherever we are at now. We give it our best shot. We cannot do better than our best, even if we try to. But by God's grace, we are able to do something, not necessarily for ourselves, but for others. So thank you, Holy Spirit, College of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, St. Arnold and St. Joseph. Thank you, SSPS community, for the trust and the confidence over the years. And thank you all. Thank you. A warm applause for being busy with you. Thank you. Um, we give you Sister Anchile. I remember you started kindergarten. My my memory, what what I have heard from my mother. My mother was working here. My father was working in Catholic trade. They had the romance here. <laughs> and so, the sisters were the ones who prepared my mother for the wedding. Her bridal gown was sewn here. They married in Spiritu Santo. And they had the reception here. So, I must say goodbye to that story. <laughs> and thank you, thank you, thank you very much for each and every one of you. Because I know I like that, that the line. The spirit lives on. The spirit lives on, okay? Thank you. The spirit lives on. The spirit lives on. For me, Turko. Kima ng Anchi. Sabi ko sa kanya ako nagmana. Malaking bagay. Salamat, mana Anchi. So, uh, so uh, ang pinakahuli na mapapakinggan natin, walang iba, kundi ang ating provincial, si Sir Rosario Yeye Tyson. Good morning, everyone. Uh, you know what's after this? We will be folding the banner and handing it to Dean. And Eden was telling me last night, we will fold it as in the military who's presenting the flag to a widow. <laughs> may, na, may, na, may namatay ba? You know, and, and as, as, I, uh, as we were going through the 10 stations, I did not feel that someone died. You know, I'm hearing, I was hearing uh, giggles, laughter, you know, rem rem recalling the funny and the significant moments uh, in your lives here in the school. So it really reminded me of, uh, uh, there's, uh, there's uh, this Dr. Seuss or Zoys, uh, the children's books author in America. Zeus. Zeus. Uh, it's also Zeus. You can <laughs> but anyhow, uh, he said, shall we cry because it's ending? Or shall we smile because it happened? I think we can, to be true lang ha, because I also heard some, some, some people were saying, naiiyak na ako, naiiyak na ako. So I think we can do both. We can cry and we can smile. And we can do this every time we remember CHSM. And just say, as we all say now, thank you. Maraming, maraming salamat, CHSM. It's a smile para kay Sister Yeye. Thank you, Yeye. Okay, now we, we go back to our script. Huh? So, ito yung letter A. Uh, if we fold the moon and bago namin in the Thank you. 
Ms. Ong, receive this symbol of CHSM. Chesaf is now the bearer of CHSM legacy, the spirit with the values of motto that has sustained CHSM throughout the, these 109 years, lives on in you as Chesaf, as individual alumna, alumnus. And through you, remember Jesus' mission, as we always say in these latter days, is neither the campus nor the building. It is you. It is us. Every alumna and alumnus. And be assured that we, SSPS sisters, will keep you in our hearts and in our prayers. Good day to all of you, to all of us. As I stand here receiving our beloved school's banner, I am humbled and honored to be representing an institution that has touched and changed so many lives. I cannot begin to express how much the College of the Holy Spirit means to me, my four sisters, as I'm sure it does to my fellow CHSians. And as sad as I am to see its doors close, my heart is still filled with deep gratitude and joy, for I know that only its structures will be gone. I'm confident that its spirit will remain bright and steadfast in each of us. To my fellow alumni, this is certainly not the end. I encourage each member of the CHS community to continue to embody what our school has always stood for, truth in love, and to keep inspired by the Holy Spirit at all times. Let us remember the true legacy of our beloved Alma Mater. We are its true legacy. And as long as we keep its values and disciplines alive, its memory and spirit will surely live on forever. Thank you and have a blessed day. Salamat po, Ma'am Dean. At salamat sa pagtanggap. Okay. Ngayon, nandito tayo sa letter B. Huh? Medyo hindi makakababa yung ating taga-release. So, okay. So, symbolic ito, no? Pag-release. Remember the response we had at the prayer service in the chapel? Send out your spirit. Okay, so now the release of the pigeons. Okay, now I request everybody to get out of the gate. Oh, see, just enjoy the same. 
着。